Whether you're a rock climber, hiker, or video game enthusiast, topographic maps are important in a lot of occasions. In this lesson, we're going to break down what topographic maps are and how to calculate for elevation using them. The most important feature of topographic maps is that they are used to show land elevation using what's called contour lines. For example, at the bottom here, we could say that we have some type of volcano found somewhere, let's say Hawaii. So even though the picture on the right looks like a volcano that we are used to seeing, the picture on the left is the same volcano just showed in a different way using topographic maps. In real life, if I was to look at this volcano, it's a 3D landform, right? I don't see like every side of it when I'm looking straight on, but I can get the idea that this is probably a very high structure. Topographic maps really break it down and show land elevation without having to do it in a 3D way. Using this 2D format, we can see a lot more of the landscape than if we were just looking at a picture of it. For example, we get a bird's eye view, so we can th see things like valleys, bodies of water, sometimes vegetation, all of the things that might be helpful for us in a certain area. Understanding how to read topographic maps is important as well if you would like to use them. The first thing we need to know are what contour lines are. So contour lines we're going to see as big circles going around the page or around the drawing that indicate elevation. We may also see other things like shaded bodies of water. We can also see our highest elevation, which is marked sometimes with an X, but can be marked with other things too. For rivers, they get their own little feature where they draw a little V that shows upstream. And since we know gravity is going to pull water down, obviously they would flow downwards from the mountain uh, or from our highest elevation point, but it's also good to know where they would be. So along with contour lines, we have something called index contour lines. It's still the same idea, but the index contour lines give us a little more information. For example, contour lines really only show us the same elevation. Index contour lines gives us a specific height elevation. This means that we can actually calculate the different heights per contour line. On this map, let's say that I take one line and label it 100 meters and another line and label it 500 meters. These lines that are labeled with the 100 and 500 respectively are called index contour lines. Another important feature of topographic maps is how we can tell how steep something is, the slope of the mountain or landform that we're looking at. So lines that are closer together are actually going to indicate that that is very, very steep. If they're almost touching, we would probably need some type of special rock climbing gear to climb it. But if the lines are more spread out, that usually means we have a gentler slope, so we could probably walk up that area. So lastly, let's look at an example where we are actually calculating for elevation. I'm going to mark on the map three different index contour lines. In order to calculate for elevation, you have to subtract at least two index contour lines and then divide by the number of contour lines between them. For example, point A has 100 meters or as a, is at a height of 100 meters. Point B is at a height of 300 meters. So if I took those two points and then counted how many lines it took to get from point A to point B, which would be two, I would have 200 meters divided by two gives me 100 meters per contour line. So each contour line increases upwards at 100 meters. If you found this helpful, subscribe to my channel to discover more lesson videos.